Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. We are cruising into the day with warm conditions expected. Last night, the full flower moon went through a lunar eclipse, turning it into the blood moon, and we got a lot of great pictures. Chris Tarpeting, our intrepid photographer, snapped this shot of these beautiful views. And uh, that's uh, the next one of those events will occur 35 years from now. So I hope you got a chance to go out and see that. You're looking out at El Paseo now. Let's transition to what's going on out there right now. Very mild. Temperatures have cooled off a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, we hit 108 yesterday, 107 on Saturday. Today's going to be a little bit cooler. We're at 71 in Palm Springs, 69 Palm Desert. Still in the upper 70s, close to 80 in the East Valley. Just not cooling off very much. Overnight lows are going to stay fairly mild through the rest of this week. Dew points are low. They're in the 30s and 40s, but they're going to dry out even further as we move into the afternoon. It's good news if you want to use your evaporative cooler because you'll be able to do that instead of the AC. And the temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler today, so the evaporative cooler should be a little more effective. It's also going to be a little breezy. Winds coming in out of the northwest, 15 mile per hour winds up in Yucca Valley. Similar numbers at the east end of the valley, not as breezy here across Palm Desert and Cathedral City. We are looking at a wind advisory up north of L.A. running along the mountains there in L.A. County and Ventura. A front dropping into the Pacific Northwest. A little trough of low pressure that will move through. This is actually going to bring in some cooler numbers by tomorrow. Well, today we're going to be certainly cooler than we were over the weekend. But with that system up north, some cooler air will funnel in. It's not going to be getting us down to seasonal norms. We're still going to be above average over the next several days. But we should get out of the triple digits tomorrow. Today we're still going to be in the very low 100s. Uh, late this afternoon, likely topping out at that 101 degree mark. Numbers coming down overnight will drop off into the 60s, but that little bit of cooler air will kind of filter in slowly for tomorrow. Your first alert comfort air forecast uh, the next seven days, mainly low 100s. Tomorrow, probably 98, so a little more comfortable for tomorrow afternoon. But the, the numbers are uniformly above average all the way into the weekends. And overnight lows will be staying very mild as well. So the usual heat precautions, please follow them. Stay hydrated and be careful out there. It's uh, getting close to summertime where we have to get used to these numbers sticking around for a while. We'll be right back.